Karibu sana katika taarifa zetu siku ya leo ikiwa ni siku ya 22 ya mwezi wa 4 mwaka 2022 tutakuwa na Susan Thuku ambaye atakuwa kuletea taarifa hizi kwa lugha ya ishara. Sasa Rais Uhuru Kinyata amemtaja mtangulizi wake Mwai Kibaki kama mkenya shupavu na mzalendo. Akitangaza kifo cha Rais wa tatu wa taifa hili katika ikulu wa Nairobi, Rais Kinyata alisema urathi wa Kibaki wa kuwajibikia umma utasalia kuwa motisha kwa vizazi vijavyo. Kibaki alifariki akiwa na umri wa miaka tisini. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alitangaza kuaga dunia kwa rais mstaafu Mwai Emilio Kibaki leo akimtaja kuwa kiongozi shupavu na mfano bora wa uzalendo. It is my sorrowful duty to announce to the nation the passing on of His Excellency Emilio Mwai Kibaki. His Excellency Mwai Kibaki lived a dedicated life of politics. and we salute a notable father figure in the chronicles of our nation Rais alisema uradhi wa hayati Kibaki utakumbukwa na vizazi daima dawamu Emilio Mwai Kibaki was a quintessential patriot whose legacy of civic responsibility will continue to inspire generations of Kenyans. Kufuatia kifo cha mtangulizi wake, Rais Kenyatta alitangaza kipindi cha maombolezi ya kitaifa ikiwemo bendera kupeperushwa nusu mlingoti hadi atakapozikwa kwa taadhima. The flag of the Republic of Kenya shall be flown at half mast at State House and all Kenyan diplomatic missions public buildings public grounds all military bases posts and stations on all naval vessels of the Republic of Kenya and elsewhere throughout the entire territory of the Republic of Kenya from today Rais Kenyatta alisema hayati kibaki atazikwa kwa maziko ya kitaifa na kupewa heshima zote za kijeshi na itifaki. Kamati maalum imebuniwa kupanga mazishi ya kibaki. Tangu walipoondoka ofisini, kibaki amekuwa kiugua mara kwa mara. His contributions in the Ministry of Finance and as Vice President saw Kenya's economy grow steadily. Fueled by a commodities boom as well as fiscal and monetary policies that were the backbone of his economic philosophy alifariki akiwa na umri wa miaka 90 purity museo darubini